Hi everyone, welcome back to the uh, channel. Right, I'm doing a, another update. I have been working on this project. Uh, a lot of things have been quite unsuccessful. As I said in my previous video, I was going to put a smaller module in, which I did order up and I semi programmed up. I installed it. You can even probably see. I cut the hole so I can program it while it's in the case. Uh, it decided not to work on me and not to program again. So, okay, I threw that to one side. And I ordered another one, which didn't even manage to get into the box before it had exactly the same problem. So, I was not having much luck with these. So, I decided to keep with the original it was a bit bigger but now as you see it's actually installed and I've neatened the wires up a little bit this one hanging off here is just the back line I'll put that to ground I don't know if that's going to come up you can probably just see there there's a bit of loop like the back line uh, eventually I may put that onto an input um, I don't know yet I haven't really given it much thought depends if after I've done this project I've got a, a spare input output operation is still the same to adjust the temperature we do this but I have added an extra feature this is now a semi Amazon uh, dot stroke Alexa uh, compatible as you see it switched on so it's probably gonna say it can't understand Sorry, me now I didn't find compatible switch. okay and what what I've done is I've programmed this in it's using basically the uh, relay code that I showed uh, it's got to be a couple of weeks back now uh, but all I've got is the word heating. I haven't managed to change because ultimately I wanted to use like a command heating up, but I haven't managed to do the up. Uh, so if you have a look at the display at the moment, we've got a set point of 20. And if I say, Alexa, turn heating on. Okay. Okay, and see that increments my set point by one. Alexa, turn heating on. Okay. Okay, so it's added another one. Alexa, turn heating off. Okay. Hopefully you can actually hear what she's saying. She's not very loud at the moment. Alexa, turn heating off. let's move that to one side so like I said the only thing I haven't changed uh, I can't seem to find out where the uh, on stroke off is uh, I think probably to do that you'd need a, to sign up uh, for a developers license or something so it's not quite as I'd like it it is operational you just need to know what to say uh, the next step will be I mean like I said before I could either put a relay in here but I think probably little module ie one of these no, probably not these are these gave me grief but one of these with a relay uh, you know either connected uh, where your existing thermostat is or actually connected inside your boiler maybe I don't know or your heating system, whatever you use. Uh, this can obviously talk to this, and uh, the Amazon device. I have to watch what I say, otherwise I'll activate it. The Amazon device can talk to this. I could do multi multiple units of these, and I have these anywhere around. I have a battery powered, or even just 
plug in as they are now and you know just plugged into a phone charger and just basically controlling my heating uh, with these okay uh, I don't know where I'm going to go next on the project like I said I'd like to be putting relays in here which I don't think I'll do what I'll probably do is a relay module here so this controls this remotely over my local uh, Wi-Fi and you know, I'd like to get maybe a battery in here and then may need to maybe look into power saving see how long you can get uh, battery life uh, out of one of these modules I don't think the display is going to take much but the Wi-Fi part it may be quite a uh, current shall I say sucking so all right we'll see how we get on okay many thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this update if anyone knows about changing the commands on the uh, Amazon uh, using the, the Wemos code or if they know of another code maybe that you can use with the Arduino maybe we could look into that maybe this thing out there is a bit more flexible what I probably will do is uh, put the code up it's nowhere near completed it's very rough but anyone can then probably pick up at this point or do whatever okay see you soon hopefully we'll have some more videos coming it's been a hectic couple of weeks a ordering these and b just life in general so uh, hopefully in the future we've got a few more projects coming up and hope you enjoy thanks for watching